Texas Raptor here from Retro Gamers, and today we are going to talk about a console that I have been looking forward to for a few years. It had some delays just due to everything that was going on in the world, but it is finally in my hands, the Polymega. So the Polymega is a complete modular system. Um, it has several different modules, as they call them, but um, and we'll we'll go through them all. So we're going to start right now with with the base. They call this it's just the base unit. This is what plays all your CD games. So this will actually play uh, PlayStation, Sega CD, Sega CD 32X, um, Sega Saturn. And TurboGrafx-16 CD, I've been, I have not tried it, but I've been told Neo Geo CD is also uh, supported by this. And who knows what they'll do in the future, and we'll get, to, we'll get to that in a little bit. So when you open it up, here is your base unit right here. Um, you've got your two controller ports, and the controller it does come with uh, is Bluetooth comes with a doggle and the controller the controller um done rather well um it's got your your two analog sticks d-pad uh your four buttons it's got two triggers on each side uh, and then your home screen um it does rather well i don't tend to use this uh, much because this actually supports the um Retro USB or Retro Bit, I always forget which one it is, uh, their line of controllers that are Bluetooth. So you can get their um, Sega Saturn, you can get their PlayStation one, you can get their NES one, you can get all of those, it will work with this. So that's, that's a real nice feature that they did add. Um, on your back, you've got your power, your HDMI, your Ethernet port, a SD card slot on the bottom, uh, this is extremely important. We'll get into that when we actually start uh, looking at the 
uh, console powered up, but this is a um, solid state drive. And then you've got your CD system here and your power button here. Now, what makes this module? Easy. It's got a little button here. You press that. Pull that off. This is just an empty shell. All this does is it's going to protect your connectors here. So you put that aside. And you get out your power module, which is your NES. It's got these two guides on each side. You line those up. Snap it in place. Now you've got an NES. Cartridge port. Nice thing is it's got a dust cover, which is nice. A lot of consoles forget to do that. You can use your NES controllers. You can either use the NES controller it comes with, or you can use the NES controller from the original NES. Their controller, not bad. I do have some complaints about it. So their controller mimics the NES rather well. They put their A and B buttons, at least they put them in the right order, but they do have them at an angle. I prefer them straight just because that's what I grew up with. It's got some good grips on the back. Start, select, D-pad. It's a little um, smooth, so it's actually easy for your finger to kind of um, slip off. That's, I, that's another reason why I tend to use my original NES controllers. And then here's your home button. The nice thing also is, is that the packaging that comes with this... Let me go in and take this out. Put this in that. Nicely stores everything. So you can put that in, and that is your NES module. Um, what I would recommend doing, and we'll go through the others, but um, always have something in this. That way it protects that connector. Also, whenever, I have to say it, I know a lot of people, uh, it's second nature, but when you are changing modules, make sure you do have this powered off. You never know what may happen. So the NES module we've gone through, the Super module, which is the Super Nintendo, module right there, controller right here. The controller actually mimics the NES rather well. Um, button layout is identical. Again, the D-pad's a little slick. That's just my opinion. Uh, home button, L and R buttons. It actually feels like an NES controller, though, so they did a great job on that. So that's your NES module. Your Mega module. This is your uh, Sega Genesis. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention about the Super Nintendo module. It does play Super Famicom games. The NES does not. You will need a adapter like a, Super, or a Honey Bee or one of those uh, pin adapters. But the SNES plays Famicom right out of the box. Your... Um, Sega Genesis module, um, it does not play um, the uh, Master System. I have a converter. I have not actually tried it with the converter. I don't know if it'll work, but um, I may try that just to see uh, if it'll work. Uh, it, I don't think it will because I, I almost remember checking and asking, and I believe they said it does not work. But that may be in the future. The uh, Sega Genesis, they actually did go with the 6 button, which is nice. It feels rather well. It has the same arch, which is good. This D-pad is not as slick, though, so it's not bad. Uh, they roughed up the uh, metal or the material a little bit better during the mold, so that, that was nice. So that's the Sega Genesis. And finally, Turbo Graphics. Turbo graphics. You got your turbo chip card right there, the reader right there. You got your controller. Um, I compared it to the turbo graphics controller I have. Um, it looks, it feels pretty much the same. Uh, it does have your turbo functions right here. Uh, they did go with the six button, which is nice. Um, so done very very well. Uh, this one, for some reason, the Genesis is the only one that the D-pad is a little slick. Because this one, or D-pad is not as slick. Because this one is just as slick as the 
NES and the Super NES one. So, I don't know. Maybe I just got an odd Sega Genesis one that just doesn't happen to be that slick. So, those are all the modules. But, before we take a look at the console itself, um, they have announced two new things, which are extremely important that we'll get to. Um, the how, how many of you... I have a CRT TV for almost one reason. To play light gun games. To play Duck Hunt. To play Hogan's Alley. To play Super Scope 6 if I really wanted to. Um, to play some of the PlayStation ones. But on a new TV, it doesn't work. They fix that. This actually has... It has not released yet. It will be released in the future. Uh, and the gun actually looks rather well. Uh, it will be a light gun for this. Uh, it will not work on other systems, but it will work on the Polymega. So you will be able to play Zapper games, Super Scope games, uh, the Sega light gun, the Miniser, um, and then the PlayStation one, which I cannot remember what it was called. So you will be able to play light gun on this. The other thing they have announced, and this is big, is there is a new module that they are releasing for the N64. So this will support N64 why is that important? Even if you don't like the N64, because I know a lot of people don't, what does this mean? This means that they are looking at supporting this for quite a while. You may get modules that do, imagine a, a handheld module that supports Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Gear, um, possibly even Nintendo DS in the future. Um, you could get modules that support, say, a Neo Geo cartridge or... Um, maybe they, uh, do a Master System one. Or an Atari, do a 2600 and a 5200 and a 7200. You may get that, you never know. This is a truly modular system that can be updated quite a bit. The new firmware that they just updated, they are constantly reading what people are, um, saying that is an issue and they are fixing it. So they will actually listen to the gaming community and fix the items that come up with. Um, just to show how dedicated they are, my Sega Genesis controller actually does not work. The um, up and down buttons on the D-pad and then the uh, six buttons don't work for some unknown reason. I contacted them within just a few days. They said, well, try this, try this, try this, uh, just to make sure it is the controller. We went through it. We confirmed, yes, it is the controller. They're sending me another controller. Um, and I, who knows what re went wrong with this one. I haven't taken a part yet, but they're sending me another one. Great customer service. Um, I know a lot of people were upset by the constant delays, but believe me, it's worth it. This is an amazing console. So now that we've talked about the console, let's turn it on and let you kind of see the power behind this nice little box. So this is the Polymega. Once you load it up, it will. Um, it does come with some pre-installed games. Again, this has got my whole uh, gaming library in here uh, that this covers. But um, once you load a game on here, its icon will show up. So PlayStation, PlayStation uh, PAL because this does, it did come with Viper. Viper is actually one that, uh, it does have some preloaded games in um, NES, NES PAL, uh, which is the European. Uh, this is one I actually picked up from uh, uh, Retrofest. Um, so it does recognize that, and I'll, I'll go through kind of how it does that. Uh, Famicom, uh, SNES, SNES PAL, uh, Super Famicom, Genesis, uh, Genesis Mega Drive, so that's the PAL, uh, Sega CD, Genesis 32X, the Saturn, TurboGrafx-16, PC Engine, and then if I um, had Neo Geo CD, it would show up. If when I ended up getting the um, 72 pin, um, I'll end up having more games under Famicom. But... So here's how it organizes. You can either say, show me only PlayStation games. So you can show A to Z, the genre, 
um, whether it's one through five players, one through four players, the year that it came out, you can rate these um, however you want it. And then these are the ones that, um, like internal storage, that is stored on the um, hard drive that the system comes with. External storage, which is where I loaded all of my games, um, they're all here. So all the ones that I loaded uh, show up here. Um, I did have two games for some reason that uh, Mega Man X4, the disc will not load, and Riven, disc four of the five, uh, will not load for some reason. So I've, I've still got to troubleshoot that. Um, so, um, you know, you can go through PlayStation, uh, PAL, you can go through NES. Um, it's, it's just a wonderful way that they have organized this. So, and I can access these anytime I want. I don't have to go and get the, uh, um, cartridge like this one I, I was actually surprised that it recognized this this is um, Samurai Pizza Cats which is a great Famicom game if you look into it um, I was shocked that it knew this game um, and then SNES I've got my my whole SNES library uh, loaded up on here so it's a great way to organize your games um, whoops, SNES PAL, both of these came preloaded, um, and then you've got Super Famicom, which, um, I believe, um, well, this one was, and I think I can look up which it came preloaded, so I, I can show you, uh, which one. Genesis, I didn't have any problems uh, loading any of the Genesis games. I'm still working on my Genesis library, so I'm hoping to uh, have more uh, there. Uh, Mega Man, I so here here's the beauty. This Mega Man Wily Wars is is not what you think it is. This is actually the Mega Man Wily Wars that just came out from Limited Games, and it recognized it. I was really shocked that it recognized this, and when you go into it, it's got screenshots. Um, this is a game that, again, is not an original game. This is Limited Run Games version. It loaded just fine. Um, you've got, uh, so Sega CD. I did not have any trouble with this, um, except Night Trap. Um, Night Trap here, this is actually, and it, see, it lists it correctly as, I have the Sega 32 um, XCD, it lists us correctly there, but it's supposed to be on its own, you know, little icon. It's not supposed to be under Sega CD. It's supposed to be under 32X CD. So, um, I have let them know that, uh, they're going to address it. And then, um, I, I believe that was, I didn't, don't think I had any other issues here. Um, you've got Sega CD or Sega 32X. Uh, which nothing, I didn't have any problems with those. Uh, Sega Saturn, I did not have any issues. I don't own many Sega Saturn games yet. Uh, Turbo Graphics, I don't own many of these. Um, but no problems there. Um, hit the wrong button. Uh, PC Engine, all of these came with it preloaded. Um, and then if I wanted to go. And so these are the ones I've played recently because I just picked up Gargoyles from um, uh, Found Electronics. So, and then these are my favored because uh, I, I just, since my Cowboys aren't doing too good, I decided to take them to the Super Bowl myself. Um, here are the ones that came preloaded. So you got Viper, 40 Winks, Rescue, The Embassy Mission, uh, Battle Squadron, Top Racer, um, Iron Commando, Iron Commando, the European version. Um, these all came preloaded. Whoops, sorry. I gotta get back to it. Um, so you've got Doodle World, uh, Shira and the Forty Thieves. You've got Tower of Turmoil, Flea. Um, these are all the NES ones that came with. 
uh, Soko Banana, you've got Dragon Master, Turtle Rescue, and then for the Mega, you've got, uh, come on. Oh, let's go go backwards. Tin Head, uh, Water Margin, uh, Brave Battle Saga, Top Racer 2, you've got your uh, SNES, you've got Eight Eyes, Nightshade, uh, Power Punch 2 for some reason. Uh, and Sorry, not SNES, NES. Uh, Target Renegade, uh, Treasure Master, which is actually a really hard game for SNES. You got Push Over, you've got Legend, and I'm kind of glad it came with Legend because I have the SNES version, so now I can compare the two. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce this, but I'm not even going to try. Uh, Dragon View, and then for your Turbo uh, Graphics slash PC Engine, You've got um, another one that I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Double Dungeons. Uh, a different Double Dungeons, but this is the TurboGrafx-16 version, not the PC Engine version. Uh, Motorola. Uh, Motorola 2. Uh, the Motorola that is the PC Engine version. Uh, Shockman. Uh, Dragon Egg. And then the nice thing is you can kind of take pictures. So I can... Um, as the Cowboys are hopefully going to do better, but who knows how long that'll take. I can relive the uh, uh, Dallas Cowboys winning the Super Bowl at least on, on the game. I'm hoping we'll eventually get better. So that's the media. That's the, uh, you, can, you can set up your playlist by doing favorites, and then you've got the system. So the system, you can view the database this is not the games that you own. This is the games that the system recognizes. So all of these, uh, you can even do it by system. If you, because sometimes you will have a game that the system has trouble recognizing. What do you do? You actually go in there and you say, hey, it is this game. And then it links it. That's actually what happened with um, Samurai Pizza Cats. It knew there was a game but it didn't it couldn't really pinpoint which one it was so i told it hey this is samurai pizza cats it worked just fine uh so the other thing you can do is say i want um i for some reason want amagon i don't know why i would you can add it to your wish list um seriously it's not that good of a game but uh watch pat the nes punks version of or his amagon review it's hilarious um but you can add it to your wish list. You can look back and just start knocking them out. Um, so, and I hate to say, but I actually own this game. So, there's a lot that you can do here. I mean, it, and then I added a solid state drive. And actually, let me see if I can remember how to get to the... Um, I believe it's under settings. Yeah, storage. So, got a one terabyte because it, it was easy to get. And I'm never going to run out of room. When I get to the, any, the N64 module, I'll have plenty of room. If you click on this, you can find out the ones. So, this is only showing the ones that are on the internal storage. And then um, you click on... I got to backtrack because I hit the wrong button. Uh, you go here, and it will show all the games that are on the external storage. You can from here say, well, I don't really, for some reason, want that on the internal storage. Hit the X button, you, you can change uh, where it goes. So here's your system updates. Uh, you can restore it. You can adjust your audio video. Um, you can do important notices so this has basically all of your your guides and everything that is the polymega so again highly recommend if uh you are looking at getting a retro system that does a lot i mean this thing does a lot and it's continuing to add uh polymega may be right for you it is a little pricey it's a lot more expensive than the Retron 5 which I still love I still have it hooked up because there are some things I like that the Retron 5 does better there are some things I like that the Polymega does better because uh, right now the Retron 5 does all my handheld games whereas the Polymega does not 
but the Polymega does allow me to load all of these, so I don't have to be worrying about disc scratches. Um, if my daughter for, wants to play like Snatcher, um, I don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, she, she's got the most expensive game that's in my, um, in my collection and she's wanting to play it. I don't want to tell her no, but now she can just go to Snatcher right here and say, let me play this. You hit play. You can say start a new game. Uh, classic mode basically is just you playing. It, it mimics the original uh, system. It doesn't do so, uh, save states. Or you can do a patch to it. So if I say let's start a new game here. Um, and there's my little loading. And here's Snatcher. So... There's a lot of advantages to having your library preloaded onto a console. Because now all my Sega CD games are nicely packed away and they are protected. So, um, huge advantage. Especially, like I said, if, if she wants to play this, I, I, I probably would have normally said, uh, that game's worth a lot. Are you, am I sure you're going to treat it right? Now, it's, it's no biggie. So, that is the Polymega. I really... Oh, before we stop. If, um, let me let me actually show you this on controllers. So, right now, I'm, I'm using the controller that, that came with the system. Uh, but this... You can, one, make certain buttons turbo, or you can um, change to, say, I plug in the uh, Sega Genesis controller for this. I go to Bandage, and then I say, I want the Sega Genesis controller as my active controller. You change it over, you're done. Very, very simple. Uh, you can do a uh, load state here, you can do save state here, you can take a screenshot if you want. Uh, here is your displays to where you can tweak how the display looks. Or um, under settings, you can go into, uh, if you want to change the audio, video, uh, console is basically just restart game and then that's how you exit. Yes, I want to exit. So, Polymega. Highly recommend it. Um, I will have a link to the uh, website of Polymega. That way also you can take a look at how the Zapper game is going, or the Zapper is going on, how the N64 uh, module is coming along. So what's, what's next for the Polymega? Who knows? I would really, really love a handheld module so I could have my Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games. Um, I would love to have an Atari uh, slash Coleco slash Intellivision module to where you could play Atari uh, 2600, 5200, 7800, uh, ColecoVision, and Intellivision. Because that's actually easy to do. They all use pretty much the same setup. So it shouldn't be that difficult to do. I would love to see that. Uh, who knows what else they may come up with. I, I would love to see PlayStation 2 support, uh, GameCube support, Dreamcast support. Um, the, it, it's endless what, what they may be able to do with this. So I'm hoping that they come out with more, but the N64 module was big. I was real happy to hear that. So Polymega, um, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, one of the biggest advantages, I will say, is, like I've said, being able to have all your games loaded on the system all in one place. The disadvantage, I'm not a big fan of some of their controllers. Like I said, the, the D-pad's a little slick, but you can fix that just by using the existing controllers you have from the previous system, or from the original system, or by uh, buying the uh, the others from RetroBit or Retro USB. Again, I completely forget which one it is. So if you have any questions, you'll find all your answers on their website that I will link uh, in the description. Um, again, thanks for tuning in. Hope you liked the video. 
uh, do all the things that everyone else says, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, I know it's been a while since we posted. We just had a lot of family issues. Uh, a lot of you know what's been going on. I do thank you for um, being there for me and helping me through these tough times. But I am finally getting back into um, back into the video game uh, realm. So it, it's it's been a, a hard year uh, of 2021, but things are looking up. So again, hope you liked it. Uh, Texas Cat has got some videos that she's going to be posting because she got the new Five Nights at Freddy's that she went ecstatic for. Uh, so you'll probably see that one. And we will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.